I know some of these folks. And uh, I can tell you about what happened with us, where we put out three wind turbines, and uh, everything sounded good, and we're quite enthusiastic, et cetera, et cetera. And however, we've had quite a few problems with the wind turbines. And uh, they are small wind turbines, which is different than large wind turbines. And ours were 10 days. We'd have one that was hit by lightning, so that was shut down for quite some time. We had one other one where there was some cable problems, and uh, we're generating about 50% of what we were told we would be generating. And I don't think anyone has a true figure as to what's going to happen when you're dealing with wind. Uh, we've noticed in the last month, here in this area, we've had practically no wind. We've had about four real windy days, but we've had so many calm days, so you really cannot count on it. Uh, we got involved with solar uh, just about a year ago, and that's because primarily we wanted to try something else. Uh, we looked at larger wind turbines because we felt the smaller wind turbine was not as efficient as a large one, and which is the case, because you have to get up to a, a certain wind speed in order to generate power with a smaller unit, and there's a lot of other things involved. And so we checked with uh, Bartlett at Ocean View in Nantucket, who put up a large one, and they were extremely happy with it until a blade fell off. And that was a battle for about three, four months, and I still don't know how it's come out. Uh, one large one in Marston's Mill lost the whole unit. Uh, I haven't gotten involved in what's happening over at Portsmouth in that area, but I know there's been some serious complications. And you have a large maintenance fee with wind turbines compared to solar. So anyway, we tried solar, which we're happy with. Uh, we, uh, we put up two units uh, late last year. On uh, one at our main nursery and one at a at a branch, and one was uh, rated almost 100k, 